All right, it's our final segment this morning. Uh, Jason Weaver's with us from Social Security. If you want to jump in, we'll try to get some of your calls. We've had several good ones this morning, which is great. Mm -hmm. I really appreciate everyone calling in. And let's see, Charles waited through the break, so we will now go to Charles on line five. Charles, good morning. How can we help you? Hey, I've had a back pay issue since 2017. Money a previous payee sent back to the government when he resigned. It was never sent to my next payee to pay up for that. Nor to me when I became my own beneficiary. I've called the Assets Way office. They say call the national office. Mm -hmm. I've called the national mm -hmm. office several times, been on hold for 30 years. They say the claim is approved with Scott's other department that has some email address or phone number for me to contact for collection purposes. Is there another party I can call to get my money? It's a significant amount and it's been owed for over three years. That sounds like a major problem. Mm. Um, if you are your own representative payee at this point in time, well, obviously you want to deal directly with you. This is an issue that uh, I, I would probably recommend coming into our office and having one of our technicians take a look at your case to kind of see what's going on with it without having anything in front of me. Unfortunately, I can't definitively say we need to do X, Y, or Z. Uh, so my recommendation is uh, make that trip into our office, sit down, speak to someone so we can figure out where your back pay is. We have viewers throughout Middle Tennessee, um, many predominantly probably in Middle Tennessee here in Nashville. What office? The office is over in Metro Center? We are in Metro Center, and there are okay. multiple offices. And there's offices around in other counties as well, correct? correct? Yes, there is an office uh, in Madison. Okay. There's an office in Gallatin. And we do have one in Murfreesboro. Okay. So uh, we are a federal agency. Mm -hmm. If our office in Metro Center is close enough for you to come and get your business done with us, please come see us. If Madison's closer for you, please go see them. You can see whoever you want. We will not turn you away. All right. Well, yeah, and, and sometimes it's a trick to get down to these places. But, yeah, if it's real complex, sometimes you got to be face-to-face. -face sometimes. And, well, bring your paperwork <laughs> with you. Let's go to Janet. Hi, Janet. Good morning. Good morning. How can we help you, ma'am? Um, yes, I have a question. I took uh, my Social Security at the age of 62. I am now 72, and I went back to work uh, as of last year, just part-time, three hours a day. And what I didn't understand is I thought that I could make the part-time money, and they would not take out any amount, but they take out for Medicare and Social Security every month. And mm -hmm. my question is, it's not a large amount, but where does that money go? And do I have a chance of getting that back? Because I don't file income tax because mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't pay a uh, taxes on my pension yeah, or I hear. my Social Security. And I hear you. I know what you're saying, but I know what this is. You're always going to pay you're always on your pay. Social Security. Correct. You're always going to pay it. She won't get that back. Now, you can make the argument if somehow, if somehow, Janet, while you're working now, you make enough over a year period to bump one of your lower earning income years over those 30, 35 five years, mm -hmm. 35 years, then you could see a little bump in your Social Security check if you get to that point, right? That's true. That's true. Now, it's not going to be a dramatic bump. Um, some individuals will see a dollar, two dollars, but that's still your money, and over time it does accrue. Uh, for some individuals who are making a lot more money in their um, 60s, uh, they can see a pretty good jump. They may see $10, $15, depending upon how much money they were making earlier in their life. So it just basically continues to accrue, and you, unfortunately, Janet, like everyone else, if you continue to work, even as you say in your 70s, um, Social Security will be taken out, and it will go into the pool, and you will not get that back. But if you make enough on any given year to top one of your lower earning years over those 35 that go into your pool, then you could see a bump. But that's, that's just the way it is for everyone. It's the system. It's not his fault. It's not my fault. It's the way it's set up out of Washington, D.C. Let's go to uh, Willis. I think. Is it William or Willis? William. William. Hi, William. It's Lily. <laughs> I was pretty far off. You go ahead, Lily. I'm sorry. Okay. I, I get social security disability. And um, will I be able to get social security income? I don't know if I'm asking that right. But well, are you retired now? I mean, how old are you? No, I'm, I'm six. I mean, 50. And you're getting and, uh, social, you're getting disability. <laughs> 
Yes, and I'm trying to find out about the Social Security income. I don't know. I don't know if I'm answering the question right or not. I think I understand what you're asking. You're you're um, you're receiving Social Security disability. So what you're asking is, are you eligible for the supplemental security income as well? Correct. Yes. Okay. Depending upon the amount that you're receiving from Social Security disability, you may not be eligible for the SSI program. That's what we call it. Um, it's a it's a needs based income program, and we look at how much you're receiving first from your disability benefit. So if you're receiving more than uh, currently, it'd be uh, $803 gross uh, from Social Security Disability. You would not be eligible for that SSI program. Okay. Is that something where you guys, if she was eligible, would have flagged it? Or is that something she should call and ask and just say, this is how much I'm getting. Would I qualify? She could definitely contact our office to see if she may qualify for it. She may be b making below that threshold, mm -hmm. and we could definitely take an application from her. Okay, so that's worth looking into, ma'am. Mm -hmm. It won't ha hurt, Lily. Um, let's see, line three, is is it Ramsey? Are you there, Ramsey? Yes. Go ahead, sir. Go ahead. All right, I have a question. I, I have retired from, uh, anyways, I've drawn a pension, and I'm not drawing Social Security because uh, I'm not old enough, but I'm not paying into Social Security right now. Is that going to hurt my benefits when I do get to the age where I can draw? Depending upon how much you've paid in over the course of your working life, it shouldn't have too much of an impact. And depending upon when you stop working, if we're counting any zero years into your top 35 years, it, sh it, it, it unfortunately with Social Security a lot of the time, it depends. So we'll have to take a look at your record and kind of see, but it shouldn't have too much of an impact. How many years did you work before you just uh, stopped and went on your pension? Well, at that one where I retired from, I worked 30 years. 30 years, and, and then before, worked, before that you work? Yes, I worked probably seven or eight years. Oh, yeah, well, that. he's covered then. That's 37 years, because mm -hmm. the one thing that could hurt you potentially is if you didn't, you'd have some zero income years, because right now you're just drawing your pension. But I think you're already locked and loaded, so when the time comes, you should be able to get your full Social Security. Yep. Okay. Yeah, good call. Yeah, okay. that's a, uh, someone like that has a long working history. It's just so crazy when, when well, you're fairly young, when you start working and your first two mm -hmm. jobs, you're like, gosh, all these years. And then before you know it, you get to where we are now and you're looking, oh, I've been working 25, 30 years right. and you got it in the bank. And you're like, well, mm -hmm. that's, that's great. Um, everyone's worried when you're our age at this point, and I'm older than you, but I mean, will it be there for us when we retire? I believe it will, but I believe it will not be 100%. There's, it's so hard to tell. I know. It really is. It's so hard to tell. You know, the, there's so many different factors. The politicians, uh, the mm. bean counters in D.C. You just don't know what's going to happen and how they're going to go ahead and figure it. My belief is that in some way, shape, or form, there will always be Social Security. Yeah, and I hope there is. It's a safety net for a lot of people, but mm -hmm. um, it'll evolve. It's the bottom line is you have more people retiring right now than are, uh, than are working or whatever. It's, it's just, it's tricky as yeah. one for one and how that, but you know what, mm -hmm. it's cyclical and it's gonna change. People are having fewer children now, so these, you know, everything's Things gonna change, change. but mm -hmm. right now we're coming just out of the, the baby boomer right. phase, which has really put a strain on the system, but we're hanging yeah. in there. So um, just uh, parting shots, um, reminded again that there's social security offices everywhere. Um, they can find the phone numbers in the phone book, just under IRS. Um, uh, I, would wouldn't, I wouldn't look at the phone book. Okay. I go on our website, <laughs> www.ssa.com gov look us up on there if you have questions concerns about what you may be able to get if you file for disability benefits what you may be able to get at 62 if you're looking for a survivor's benefit uh, i encourage everyone if you do not have one to obtain your my ssa account on our website yeah. it gives you access to a lot of features with social security yeah and i, I think a lot, most of our viewers i think have access to a computer some don't and mm -hmm. that's fine that's why i mentioned phone book or other ways you can make the call but you know libraries have it that my social security i say this every time i took the time to do it and I thought, oh, well, whatever, I'll get on there. And it is cool. That is it just is. It is just a neat thing. It's, it's like looking back in the history of your life. Your life. It's all built yep. around you. It's confidential mm -hmm. stuff, but you can see all these earnings. And you know, I, I look at some of my earnings when I started in this business in Medford, Oregon, back in, uh, what was it, 1980s. I was like, how did I live on that? <laughs> I'll say it was top ramen and roommates. That's how it went. Jason, listen, thank you for coming on, my friend. Yeah, thank you so uh, much. Appreciate you coming on. And uh, tell uh, Josh, hope he feels better. I know he's I under the weather. And we'll see you guys maybe again in about a month. How Sounds about great. Take a break. I'll be back with a programming note about tomorrow right after this. Stay with us.